Hello food lovers, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we will be diving into the world of flavors and colors because it's the most wonderful time of the year. It's Christmas. We all love to eat pizza at home. Making a delicious pizza at home is very very easy with this recipe. I will take you through detailed steps and also give you some tips and guide you in preparing your own pizza at home without using an oven. And so guys, wear your apron, sit back and let's get started. In a large mixing bowl, we are going to combine the flour, yeast, sugar, salt and we're going to use the wooden spoon to give it a very good mix and then we're going to open a well in the middle of the flour add a little bit of ground nut oil and then some lukewarm water this we're going to do it bit by bit we will be adding little water and continue stirring now we're going to use our hand to knead this dough I'm going to gradually incorporate the flour and all the wet ingredients together until it begins to form a dough. All ingredients for this recipe will be in the description box. Once the dough starts to come together, we need to knead it on a lightly floured surface for about five to seven minutes until it becomes smooth and elastic. At this point, we can use additional flour if the dough feels too sticky. Pizza is very easy to make and I believe anybody can make pizza at home. Form the dough into a bowl and place it in a grease bowl. Cover the bowl with a plastic wrap and a clean kitchen towel. We're going to let this dough to rise in a warm place for one hour or until the dough doubles in size. Tips for rising dough quickly. You can put a teacup of water in a microwave for two minutes. Then put the dough with the teacup, leave it inside the microwave and you'll be surprised your dough will quickly double in size that's what I use if the place is too if the room is too cold and the dough is not rising that's what I use that's my tip for you so you don't have to wait the whole day for your dough to rise <laughs> while waiting for the dough to rise I started prepping the obstacles that I'm going to put on top of the pizza. So this is sausages that I'm going to use. I'm going to fry it on both sides. I'm now going to grate the mozzarella cheese. I will be adding some olives to this pizza.
I will be using bell peppers and I'm going to remove the seeds from these bell peppers and cut them into very tiny slices. Once the dough has risen, punch it down to release any air bubbles. We're now going to place the dough ball on a floured surface. And we're now going to roll it out into the pizza form. I will be using this small fry pan and I'm going to grease it with margarine. Just to enable the dough not to stick to the fry pan. In order for the dough not to puff up, use a fork to pierce all over the dough so that the surface is covered with tiny little holes. On a very low heat, cover pizza dough and let it bake for five to seven minutes. After seven minutes, use a greased pan to flip the dough onto the other side. Let that bake for another five to seven minutes. After five to seven minutes, we're now going to flip back again and start putting our toppings. And for these toppings, for the tomato sauce, I have a video on how to make your homemade tomato sauce from fresh tomatoes. You can check that out in my video. I will add it at the end of the video. Please check it out. And at this point, please give me a thumbs up and like and share with your friends and family in this holiday season so they too can make their own pizzas at home without using an oven.
After topping the pizza, cover the pizza, allow the cheese to melt. That means the pizza is ready. Food lovers, you see how easy it is to make pizza at home. Even for the dough to rise, you can just use something warm to wrap up the dough close to uh, a cooking pot that is cooking. Just put it close to it. As long as the place is warm, you don't have to wait for for you to eat pizza. So if you have if you don't have a pizza cutter, you can always use the scissors. Just clean, wash the scissors, clean it well, and use it and cut your pizza and enjoy your pizza, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video was very useful to you. And please subscribe for more recipes like this. And guys, for my subscribers, I love you so much. Thank you for subscribing. And guys, I'll see you in my next video. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.